men are prophets, comma, intercessors, comma, prophetic people which watch in the spirit for three specific purposes. They are what? Prophets. They are intercessors and they are prophetic people and the reason for the activities the activities of these watchmen are captured within watches you with me and the activity of watching is in three perspectives are you with me and I'm going to, if I have the time, I will show you that if God wants to do any major thing, what he does is that he first of all deploys the watchmen to begin to function. If watchmen do not begin to function, it might be difficult for God to implement a plan that is upon his heart. I'd like us to see a few examples of watchmen, then we'll come back to our definition and uh, when we come back we are going to look at the three activities that constitute the activity of watches that watchmen are raised to do now turn with me to the book of Luke quickly the book of Luke is a common scripture to us in this place it's uh, one of my favorite scriptures and uh, the scripture actually comes up again and again for various uh, purposes but uh, we are going to look at it from a different perspective just trying to make us understand that in order for God to implement his purposes we need he needs to first of all deploy watchmen in Luke chapter 2 verse 21 the Bible says and when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child his name was called Jesus which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb and when the days of our purification according to the law of of the law of Moses were accomplished they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the law. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that openeth the womb shall be called holy unto the Lord to offer a sacrifice according to that which is in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtledoves or two young pigeons. 25 is the beginning of my emphasis. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. The same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Ghost was upon him. That's his credential. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. Verse 27. And he came by the Spirit into the temple... And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law, then he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said. So even before the birth of Jesus, God had deployed watchers. And uh, in their activity, they paved the way for the manifestation of the plans of God. If we continue in the study, you are going to find a lady called Prophetess Anna. She was only married for seven years and her husband died. And God took away her desire for a man thereafter. And the only thing she found pleasure in doing was in seeking the face of God day and night. She was a watcher. And the information, the intelligence about the object of the emancipation of Israel and indeed the world which is Jesus Christ was revealed unto them. The intelligence as to what God wants to do 
it came to them firsthand. And you can imagine that Simeon walked into the temple without an invitation card, without a text message, without a WhatsApp message, without a Facebook message. He showed up as though he was invited. But the Bible revealed that he came into the temple by the Spirit. His body was that he was set up as a watchman waiting for the consolation of Israel. It means there was a promise that was given to Israel and this man was watching to see the manifestation of the consolation of Israel. In order for God to do something in your family, he needs to deploy a watchman. And every watchman has a mission statement. A watchman can be assigned to a territory. A watchman can be assigned to an individual. Hallelujah. There was this great pastor who was so anointed. And there was a watch, watchman that was attached to him. Because the destiny of the city where that man was, was tied to the anointing that God had placed upon his life. If the man should die, Satan will rule. And because of that, he had to be armed with watchmen that will ensure that Satan will not take advantage. Are you with me? So a, a watchman can be assigned to a person. A watchman can be assigned to a nation. Your, your scope of assignment is consistent with the allocations of the grace of God. It doesn't mean that someone that is assigned to a nation is higher in rank than someone that is assigned to a person. But if the purpose of God will, will find expression, ah, I think the way I was supposed to start this message, I started it not to... I would have shown you that there are angels that are water angels. And then there are men that are water men. No, we'll still talk about the water angels. And there are also demons that are watcher demons. And I will show you the technology of how to strengthen the watcher angels over and above the watcher demons in the implementation of the plan of God. You see, many of you don't know that when we, we do the publicity for crusade, how many of you like our last publicity material for the crusade? There are demons that watch over the territory. Hoping that you and me will compromise and give the devil ground so that those watcher demon spirits can inform Satan that their disobedience has created an opening so that Satan can come and exploit. There are also angels in the territory waiting for you to obey God, waiting for you to yield to God and that is going to translate to possibilities of God having dominion over the territory. And in view of that, the water angels will inform the other coalition of messengers to come take possession of the, the landscape that your obedience has redeemed. Do you understand? And so, if you go to the book of Zacharias, you will find angels whose job description is just to be doing measurement. That's all they do. So, when you lie and concede to the devil, concede to the enemy, you want a cheap way out. You have lost ground. So, the angels will now measure the new measurement. The new measurement that is occasioned by your disobedience and uh, he has given certain allowance so God has lost ground. So they need to measure to get the up-to-date territory that God can influence. And the day you yield to the Holy Ghost and you deny the devil and you stay up in prayer and you win a victory in the spirit, you have gained more influence. The angels will need to come and measure. And those angels always have work to do because the scales are either being lost or being gained. I have this determined that my life will only win trophies for Jesus Christ. It will only win territory. It will... Power, rest on me.